Hi, my name is Lucio Simone. I am the Engineering Manager for BC Group International. In this video, we will be discussing the FSX 1101, all of its features and functions. This is our latest uh, digital SPO2 simulator. We turn on the unit and we have a simple interface screen here. We can easily select our SPO2 percent level by clicking on that number. Additionally, we can select the heart rate by pushing on that number. We also have a selection for the uh, manufacturer of the SPO2 that we're testing. So uh, this particular monitor uses Massimo. So I'll go ahead and select that for Massimo. And we can also select the percent for fusion uh, right from the screen. At the bottom, we'll see the battery level indicator and also the red and infrared uh, sensor status. That tells us the strength of the uh, signal that it's receiving from the monitor. We have a button up the top to select from manual mode to preset mode. In manual mode, I have individual configuration of each of the parameters. When I go to preset mode, I have a simple one button operation to select a pre-configured set of settings. So this makes it very quick if I'm going through a, um, uh, a set of uh, parameters that I want to go through. Um, this configures the uh, SpO2 percent, the heart rate, and the perfusion index all at the same time uh, with one button. And I also have the ability to change the manufacturer as well. So if I go into the setup button, uh, then I have options for display brightness, the uh, audio setting. Uh, there's an auto off timer here, so if we accidentally leave it on, we don't uh, just kill the batteries. We can update the firmware through this screen. Uh, we also have the option of custom offsets. Uh, we'll get into that in another video later on, but that's an important setting to uh, note at this point. So we're going to go and connect our monitor. So on the finger cuff, we'll see that there's, we should be able to see one side with the red LED and the other side has the receivers on the cuff. So the red LEDs need to be on the bottom of the FSX 1101. And as I slide this over the end of the finger, I'll note that there's a red LED output on the top of, of our unit. So as I slide this on, I can see when that red LED becomes lit. And now I can see down here my red and, and infrared signal strength uh, looks, it shows good there. And now I should be able to see a reading on the monitor. It usually takes a few seconds for it to stabilize and uh, calculate our rate. So here I have it set for 40 beats per minute and I have 95% SpO2, that looks good. If I change the heart rate here, we can see the signal changed on the monitor, and now the heart rate is increasing. Again, there's a bit of a delay in the monitor, so we wait a few seconds and we'll get the new reading. And there we go, 80 beats per minute, 95% SpO2. Same kind of thing, if I change through SpO2 selections here. Now I went through and uh, selected 90%. So we give it a little bit of time and it should stabilize on our new reading. And if I wanted to go to manual mode, I can select manual mode at any time and I can step through uh, the settings in the manual mode. In this case, uh, it is 98% SpO2, 80 beats per minute and high perfusion. And it should stabilize on that within a few seconds. Now one thing to note, if uh, the readings were off a little bit, so it may be because I have the wrong uh, manufacturer selected, which would affect the R curve uh, that we use for simulating the uh, SpO2. So that's uh, one thing to uh, look into if you're having any problems. So that is the main features of the FSX 1101. We do have a cord guide in the back uh, to hold the cord so we could lay this flat and it will sit flat on the table. That concludes all of the basic features and functions of the FSX 1101 SPO2 simulator. For other training videos or other information about BC Group products, please visit us on the web at bcgroupstore.com.